was free. I lived with my family in the sea. I was tricked. He took a part of me and he has it still. So wherever he goes, I must. We're bonded. Look. For years, he's taken me from death. The new live-action feature of The Little Mermaid hits theaters next week. But first, it premieres tonight right here, Tampa Theater. And we're excited to have two of the stars here on The Blend this morning, Poppy Drayton and William Mosley. Good, Good morning. Thanks for having us. Welcome back to the Bay Area, I should say. Some of this, a little bit of it, was shot right here in the Bay Area, right? Yeah, it was. We went down to Wikiwachi for a day, and we shot in your beautiful ecosystem mm -hmm. thing down there, and it was stunning. It was the most beautiful day. Well, the Bay Area, we love our mermaids here, and I think everyone across the country, across the world, loves the Little Mermaid as well. So talk about this trailer, by the way. I'm sure you've probably seen it. I feel like it's already gone viral, right? 14 million views. Yeah, quite a few. Huh? Talk yeah. about putting this together, and it's not the Disney version of the Little Mermaid. No, it's not the Disney version. So this is an independent movie. So it's completely separate from the Disney version. It sort of loosely follows the Hans Christian Andersen version. So okay. it's a little bit darker and kind of a bit more whimsical and fantastical. And There's a, a circus element to it as well. I've been watching The Greatest Showman, so I feel like a lot yes. of us are still all about yeah. the circus as well. So talk yeah. about what the storyline is a little bit. Kind of set the stage because I think we do need to remind people it's not the Disney version. Okay, well, without giving away too much. Okay. No spoilers. No spoilers. Um, our story is set in the 1930s. I play an investigative reporter who's set on the task of uncovering a mermaid in a, in a circus. Um, my niece, played by Loretto Peralta, has um, health problems. And, and the water, the mermaid's water is meant to be very healing. So I'm sent down to, uh, to uncover this, this, this mystery. And al along the way, we find there's a, you know, there are, there are a few things that need to be uh, solved. Yeah. yeah. The movie, by the way, kind of the background is Mississippi, correct? Yes. But mm. most of it was shot where? Kind of explain where you guys were, when you weren't here in Tampa for the one day <laughs> in the Bay Area. Yeah. Well, we, were, we shot most of it in Savannah, in Georgia, which was just wonderful. Yeah. It's the most, it was so creative. It's such a beautiful, creative place because they've got, is it SCAD or CAD? Their, yeah. Their art university oh, down yeah, there. Yeah. So, uh -huh. yeah, and then they, it was lovely. It, it was a really very, nice yeah. place to... It felt so very well. English to me as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was designed There's by no an English moss. guy. How well, can it be there is Spanish moss. There is Spanish moss. Just don't look at the Spanish moss and then it's English. <laughs> well, there was apparently a design, uh, an, an architect that mm -hmm. built all right. the little squares. Mm. Um, but it was very haunted, we, we, we found out. There were lots of ghost tours. Did you, Do you remember you when we saw tour? the ghost on the boat? Were I, you there for that? I was there. I remember seeing that oh, ghost. Oh, I wouldn't be on board with that. Yeah. It was bizarre. So how kid-friendly is this version of The Little Mermaid, by the way? Because I was asking, I have a five-year-old that we're obsessed with the little mermaids so can little ones come and see it yeah definitely I mean it's not yeah. it's definitely designed for children so okay. I think even like five-year-olds will be great for it I think and yeah well, I think you're I, thinking you're, what are well, you thinking less sure. I was I, you know I was thinking this is there aren't many films like this being made at at the moment that really are mm -hmm. family friendly you know you, there are obviously the big superhero movies yeah. and Disney's done a wonderful job at uh, they're making yeah. the Nutcracker a, a Christmas which will be fantastic but there aren't many films like this that really are targeted towards a younger audience and targeted towards families and that's what we that was our mm -hmm. our goal and our vision and when I first read the script, which was written by Blake Harris, who's mm -hmm. here today, yeah. um, it was such a beautiful script, and yeah, I found it yes. to be really magical, and I, I, a lot like The Chronicles of, of Narnia, which yeah. was my first Yeah, well, and film. let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Obviously, people uh, recognize you from Narnia, yeah. and then speaking of family, one of the most popular families, the royals. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I've been fortunate that I've been in two <laughs> royal worlds, two very different royal worlds. Um, I don't know why I get cast in these parts. I have, a, I have a friend that said to me once, you know, he had, a, he, he had an acting friend that always get cast as drug addicts. And he said, well, you seem to always get cast as, um, you know, royal people. But I'm, I'm very I grateful. I know why. <laughs> I can, I can, see, it. I'm I can very, see it. I'm very, I'm, 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 I'm very Take grateful. Take it as a compliment. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, and then talk a little bit about your past as well and maybe where we can see you after this. What's next for you guys? Um, well, I'm working on a project at the moment called The Rising Hawk, which is set in 1241. And it's all about a Mongol army that invade a Ukrainian village. So we're shooting actually in Ukraine, which is wow, amazing, in okay. the Carpathian Mountains, which is stunning. And yeah, it's just about a love story that goes on during this big war. 
Okay, and then so what's yeah. next for you? I don't know yet. Um, you know, I've taken a, a, some some time with my mm -hmm. with my family. I'm away so much that uh, you know I just needed some. I need to come back yeah. to England. My mum has unfortunately broken her wrist. Oh no! So I'm taking care of her. I'll be taking care of her for a little bit, and then. The fifth season of the Royals was still is still unclear, okay. but um, I hope it does get picked up because I feel like we need to finish yeah. the story. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think of the United States? Obviously, it sounds like you've traveled all over the world, yeah. obviously shooting. And uh, what do you think of Florida? I love it here. Love you, Florida. Yeah. yeah, I was at the beach yesterday. We went to St. Pete's Beach. Uh huh. Yeah, and St. Pete. Hung out at the Postcard Inn, and that was great. And yeah, it's lovely. It's just everyone's really happy here. Yeah. I feel like much we happier than England. We want more movies shot London. here. That's why I was asking oh, too. I mean, don't you think this? We have yeah. a good setting for this. Yeah, we, we we really want to make. And I was just talking to a friend of mine today, mm -hmm. one of the the producers, Rob, Rob Malloy, and he was saying that he wants to bring more films yeah. here. He wants people to be working here. He wants the industry to to grow and thrive and, and, and to thrive. And you know, I think this is a fantastic platform for for us as actors and filmmakers uh, across the country. And thanks to you guys for being here, which by the way, you can come out and meet you, right? Uh, the, the premiere gonna be tonight at That's Tampa nice. Theater. Yes. There's yeah. a lot of buzz about it. Again, it's yeah. gonna be exclusively at AMC theaters though uh, next week, but I can't yeah. wait to see it. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for coming in Thank today. Thank you for having us. Thank you. So Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.